Hi, my name is Isaac Ng, and today we're going to talk about the convolutional layer of a convolutional neural, neural network. The convolutional neural network is one of the most powerful and best performing neural network models we have today, and I'll be showing you how, the, how its basic building block works, the convolutional layer. Before we get to that, let me give you a primer how, how a conventional or fully connected neural network works. Let's say we have an image of a cat, and we want our neural network to determine whether or not that image contains a cat. The way it works in a fully connected neural network is that the image is unrolled into one long feature vector, so each pixel will now become one element in the, the new feature vector. From here, every pixel is connected to every neuron in the next layer, and every neuron in this layer is connected to every neuron in the next layer, until finally, the last neuron outputs whether or not the image is of a cat 1 or 0. The connections between this layer and this layer is governed by this equation right here, which is nothing more than linear, linear algebra, where the weight matrix W1 is of this size in order to work. The connection between this layer and this layer, as well as this layer and this layer, will also take a similar form. Now this is all well and good. In fact, a fully connected two-layer neural network like this can get really good at classifying cat images. But for advanced computer vision problems, we don't just want to deal with 36 by 36 by 3 cat images. We want to deal with a thousand by a thousand by three images or more or more but as we can see this quickly becomes a problem because a th thousand by thousand by three image is also will, will have three million pixels and every one of these pixels will have to be connected to the next layer of the neural network three million pixels connected to four neurons that's 12, mil 12 million connections you can see how this quickly becomes un unmanageable also, determining whether or not there's an eye present here will rely on these, these pixels here. But does it really get affected by the pixel over here or the pixel over here? That's the reasoning behind the convolutional layer. And we're going to look at that now. We want the technique or method for detecting features such as an eye, an eye, such as an eye using only the local pixels. So what kind of method would that be? We'll approach this problem using a simpler example by detecting edges in an image. Let's say we have two guys in a, in a scene like this. We want to get from an image like this to an image with only the, showing where the vertical edges are and an image showing where the horizontal edges are. So let's say you have a simplified image like this where there's an obvious vertical edge right here. How do you detect it? The systematic way to go about doing, is th doing this is using the convolution operation. By convolving a defined filter over the input image and recording the results, you can, you can get an output image that tells you where the vertical edge is. The convolution operation works by taking the, the filter and laying it over the image, starting at one corner, laying this over the blue square and multiplying each element by the corresponding element in the filter and summing them. The result will be placed in the first corner, corner of the filter. As you can see, there is this, the sum of the element-wise multiplication of all nine numbers will result in zero. That's where zero comes in. Moving the filter right astride, you'll get the element, the sum of the element-wise multiplication would be 30. Moving it another stride is 30. Moving it yet another stride is zero. Moving it down the stride is zero moving it down another stride is zero, and so on and so on, until you complete the pattern you see here. Over the years, computer vision scientists have developed and handcrafted other kinds of, of edge detectors like sobel filters and sky filters that, better capture, that are better at capturing vertical lines. In fact, the, these filters can be flipped 90 degrees or 45 degrees to capture horizontal and diagonal lines as well. The real benefit comes when you let the neural network learn its own filters. By treating the nine numbers as weights and running back propagation over it, the neural network would be able to learn filters that are better at capturing the statistics of your data than anything handcrafted. This is the convolutional layer, and I hope it serves as a gentle introduction to convolutional neural networks. Thank you.